Who else is wet in here? <laughs> God, that is an awkward way to start a video. But, but it works. Because today, popular people, we're talking about the making of one of the hardest things to animate in stop motion, water. So water's hard to animate for a couple of reasons. One is water doesn't really hold its shape at all. Fuck me. Well, see what I mean? It's a pain in the ass. Water doesn't hold its shape at all. It's impossible to make it hold certain forms or even stay still long enough to take a photo. Even the slightest little ripple will show up from one photo to the next, causing the water to look incredibly jittery. The other difficulty is water has very complex movements. It spreads out or it's constantly rippling. It's just a very tricky thing to make look realistic, which is why we rarely animate water on most popular girls in school. But the two times we did animate water this season so far is in episode 501 with the swimming pool and episode 504 when we dumped water on Michaela a few times. Now both those scenes had two completely different methods, so first we're going to talk with episode 501 and the swimming pool. So when we animated the swimming pool in episode 501, what we used for water was this. A massive tub of clear hair gel. Hair gel works great because one, Smells nice, which is always good, but it's also clear like water, and unlike water, it holds its shape a lot better, which allows us to animate the ripples in the pool the way we did. So what we did was we built a very shallow pool and painted the bottom of it blue. This way the gel would have the same kind of light blue hue you would have if you had a very deep pool. Then we laid on a very thin layer of hair gel that looked like water. So once we had the surface completely covered with the hair gel, our animator could begin animating. But water is tricky because water is constantly moving, which means our animator had to go in and hand carve the ripples for every single frame of the shot. This takes a lot of focus and a lot of patience because hair gel, while it holds a little, is still very tricky to work with to make it look like a fluid water motion. So all that work goes into each frame, just so we can get a shot that ends up looking like this. And that is why you don't see too many bodies of water in most popular girls in school. Because it takes a long time and it's very sticky. It's like, real sticky. Wish I hadn't stuck my finger in there. That was a mistake. The other time we animated water this season was in episode 504 when we dumped water on Michaela's face. Oh, the little one is out! How cute! Ah, God damn it! For this, we didn't use hair gel. We needed something that was a lot stronger and could hold its form in midair. So, how do you make it look like liquid splashing over someone's face? Well, you use this simple store bought plastic wrap. Now, I know that the water splashed on Michaela's face looks a lot like water and nothing like this plastic wrap, but that's all in the animation. What you want to do is animate the glass until it's right at the point where water should be spilling out. Then you add just a little bit of plastic wrap to be the water beginning to spill. After you take your first shot, then you take a little bit more plastic wrap and swap it out for the tiny piece you put in and spread that out a little bit. Now it's going to look like the water is growing as it comes out of the glass, more like a liquid spreading out from a spill. You keep doing this process repeatedly until finally you get the plastic wrap to a large size that is now hitting the target's face. Once it's on her face, this is where the real trick to the animation happens. To make it simulate what water looks like when it hits you, you wrap the plastic around the face for a shot, and then you break the plastic down the middle, spreading it across the face and through the back. This simulates what water looks like when it splashes on somebody, spreads across their face, and then falls down. So as you can see, when we slow down the animation frame by frame, it's just a little piece of plastic wrap that's slowly being animated and spread out to simulate the movement of water. But if you speed it up and add a little water sound effect, it's pretty hard to tell she's not getting a drink poured in her face. The most romantic city in the world. Ah! Ah! Gaga, damn it! <laughs>
So that's how we make water here on Extra Credit Studios. Let me know on Twitter what you want to see in our next Making Of video. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting Most Popular Girls in School. You're the reason we're able to keep this show alive. We love you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, popular people. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget to check out all the other cool videos we have on our brand new channel. And make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get constant updates. Anytime that we drop a new video, we're going to have behind the scenes of most popular girls as well as brand new series that we're developing just for this channel. So check it out. It's going to be awesome. Subscribe here and subscribe to most popular girls in the school. And we will see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.